What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Alright, so, in the last part we just discovered a little bit of Branca. And, uh, wandered around there a little bit, got some information. Now I want to go to Endor. And, oh, wait, what happened? Oh, yeah! Okay, if it's your first, uh, ever, like, if it's your first game you've ever played here and you have no previous saves, you'll get, uh, you get 2,000, uh, casino coins. Because you're like the like the one thousandth, the one thousandth. You're one thousandth person, whatever. You're the uh, thousandth person to come into the cave, so you get two thousand coins, whatever. <clears throat> I guess I can't say thousandth. There. After eight tries, I finally got. It. So, yeah. So you go through that cave and you go through the tunnel, and if it's your very first save game, you get two thousand coins. Now it says you have to go to the king to talk to him, but like in the DS uh, version, it's bugged because I got the prize, but I never deposited the money. <laughs> and <clears throat> I don't think the king's has thrown, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so Endor, you know this place. Chapters 2 and 3. Claim our prize. <laughs> As, yep, see? Kings of the Wedding, because of Chapter 3. But let's see if they uh, put the let's see if they put the coins in the casino anyway. They might have done that. Yeah, cool. 2040. Awesome. Good. We can, we can get you can get some stuff with that too. I'm gonna show you what uh, the best things to get here. Uh, you want to definitely get meteorite armbands whenever you can for all your characters. It doubles your speed, and speed is like the most important trait to have in this game. You can get a wizard's ring, however, you only get about 10 uses of it. I prefer magic potions just because. Just because they cost less. They fill up item slots, but that's okay because, I mean, for every, like, ten heal spells you can use, it takes off one uh, magic potion. There covers about 30 MP. What's Mara doing here? Oh, yeah, that's right, because they moved here from, uh, like, Canada, uh, from, like, Canada, from, uh, whatever it's called, from a Baraba. <laughs> Mara's gambling her money away. I imagine she'd be working in the casino. Like, wait a minute. Oh, and there's Nera. Awesome. Her predictions do come true. Awesome. <clears throat> Definitely. Ten dollars. Let's see what she has to say. Wait a minute. This is sounding a lot like the prophecy. Oh, yeah. I am the hero. Awesome. Good. Nice. Cool. We got a hot fortune teller to join us. Well, you know, hey. I mean, if, you're, if you're, your town goes up in flames, I mean, come on. Get something for it. <clears throat> and Mara should be at the casino. She probably does work there, I can imagine. Like her being like the, uh... Whatever. Being like a waitress there. Haha, <laughs> she spent all the money in the gambling. They were searching for the hero. Like, that's one thing I don't really care about. I mean, don't, don't really care for in the story is that... <clears throat> it's never explained. Like, well, I guess, like, the prophecy would uh, let them, uh, give them an excuse to search for the hero, but whatever. Anyway, I'm about to demonstrate why you should keep items in your other characters' inventory in chapters 1 through 4. Because they carry over. Like the silver tarot cards and the uh, boarding pass you don't need. You still want the Lamp of Darkness. But look, we have weapons armor for the hero. Chainsickle, half plate armor there. Mystic Gate Corns to increase his MP. 
Okay, that's all the time I have for this episode. Uh, what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm just gonna get some more stuff for the hero, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time.